Hey everybody, here we are. It's been a week since my surgery. Did actually it's all a week and one day since I had my surgery, and I just wanted to kind of check in and give you an update, and let you know how things were going. Um, I, at this point in time, I have, I really have no complaints. Uh, I've been incredibly impressed with how well I'm feeling. Um, the pain is steadily getting better. Um, I, I'm walking so much better than I was prior to the surgery. Um, I've been able to get up and walk every day since. Um, they started me walking a week ago today, um, the day after my surgery. Um, at that point in time I walked, I think my first walk was about six feet, um, and then I jumped up to about 20 feet, and I just got um, a little bit further each and every day, pushed myself a little harder. Um, today I walked uh, four blocks. Um, did fine with it. Um, trying to walk about three times a day, even though it's pretty hot out. Uh, I'm trying to get myself out and move, um, and I think that is one of the most important things as you're recovering from the surgery is to keep yourself moving, um, to not let yourself sit in a chair and or lay in bed and do nothing, um, because you got to get your body up moving um, in order to heal and, and recover from the surgery. Um, I want to give you some real quick pointers and things to keep yourself. Um, Keep in mind to survive that first week, um, and uh, that's pretty much what we'll focus on in this in this video. Um, some things to keep in mind as you get into the hospital, um, you know, just be aware. And I think I mentioned it in earlier videos. Just be aware of what you're going to be expected dietarily. Um, know what they're doing, um, and know what to expect um, when you wake up from surgery. Um, are you going to be able to eat anything? Are you going to be, you know, not eating anything until you're intestines and everything wake up from the surgery. Um, use your pain medication as you're supposed to um, in the hospital. Keep yourself comfortable. Um, and if, if your pain isn't managed in the hospital, you need to let your, let your nurses know um, and let them know that you're still hurting. Um, and that the hospital that I was at was, was fantastic. Um, if, I wasn't, if I wasn't feeling good, they took care of it and got everything, um, got my pain under control pretty quickly. Um, do what the physical therapists tell you. Um, if they want you to get up and walk three times a day, get up and walk three times a day. Um, it hurts. Um, I won't I won't deny that, but you'll be glad that you did because you'll, you'll find that your recovery is much quicker. Um, when you get ready to come home, um, plan for your trip home. Um, make sure that um, you're prepared for however far you have to drive. We had about a two-hour drive so that the the hospital was great. They got me um, set up for medications so that I could leave. Um, we had my, my meds or my prescriptions filled at the hospital before we left, so we weren't trying to get um, everything taken care of um, at home because it was the 4th of July. It was a holiday. Nothing was open. So fortunately, the pharmacy at the hospital was open, um, and they got all my prescriptions filled um, that day before I left. Um, as you get home, Get home, get get yourself comfortable, and rest. Um, that first day, just rest. Make sure that those first um, that first week that you have somebody there with you um, to help you out all the time. Because if you don't, you're going to find yourself really tempted to do things that you really should not do. Um, so have somebody with you 24/7 um, if possible, um, so that you're just not trying to do things that you shouldn't be doing. Um, that first week, make sure that you um, follow your med schedule, um, keep your pain under control so that you can keep moving if you let your pain get out of control to the point where you're hurting too much. Um, and that's going to defeat the, the process of healing. Um, so take your pain medicine like you're supposed to and keep yourself up and moving. Um, follow the doctor's orders, no bending, lifting, and twisting. That is an absolute must. Um, you are bending, lifting, and twisting, you're going to put your, set yourself up for disaster. So um, follow those doctor's orders to the, to the letter. Um, I don't know how your doctor will handle it. Um, my particular physician, um, I am not to shower um, until um, my staples come out. So that's two weeks, um, two and a half weeks from the surgery. So that's uh, July 18th when my staples come out. So in the meantime, it's... Um, sponge baths, um, washing my hair in a sink. Um, so 
just be aware of that. Uh, keep your dressings clean. Um, we change my dressings every other day. Um, and just keep an eye on them. Make sure that everything stays clean, um, that there's no signs of drainage or anything like that. Um, your, your diet, keep your diet as normal as you can. Um, just make sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids. You'll see, I, I've got this big cup like this with me um, all the time. Keep, I drink about three of these a day. Keep myself hydrated. Um, make sure that you're eating lots of fruits and vegetables. Keep your fiber high so that uh, your pain medic medications can, can be a little bit constipating. So um, make sure that you keep your diet um, high in fiber and everything so that you can keep things moving. Um, so, uh, but you know, I've, I've really had a great result so far, um, and I really pray that it keeps moving that way. Um, I'm up and moving. The pain from pain prior to the surgery is is gone, um, and I feel really, really good. I've been able to get up and walk without limping around. Prior to my surgery, I was uh, I'd walk I'd walk up a limp for over a year, um, and I don't right now. So I pray that that continues, um, and I think that that's gonna it'll take time, um, but just just keep yourself up moving. That's that's I cannot stress that enough. Um, to keep yourself moving and active, don't let yourself lay around and do nothing. Um, I have found that I'm most comfortable when I change positions. Um, if I move, you know, if if I move from laying down to sitting for a while, sitting to walking, and back, um, just don't do the same thing for a long, long period of time. And you find that your muscles and everything get stiff. Um, but above all, um, do take it easy. Don't push yourself too hard, but um, do take it easy. Rest, recuperate, let your body heal. Um, so that's pretty much it. I, I don't have a lot to say, um, aside from the fact that I'm, I'm really feeling pretty good. Um, and each day gets a little bit better, so I, have, I hope that it continues that way. Again, if you have questions or anything, please feel free to post comments um, to the video. I'll try to get in, get on and get them answered for you. Um, if you're looking at the surgery, I really think it's important that uh, people out there hear positive stories because I read horror story after horror story after horror story um, and I'm not experiencing that. So um, I think it's really important for those of us out there that are having a positive result to share those positive results with everybody so that um, we can, we can balance out all that negative with some positive because I have no regrets whatsoever doing the surgery. Um, I really think it was the right thing um, and I really am excited to, um, to be better and to get my life back. Um, I won't post again for another week, um, so look for it in about a week and I'll, I'll give you an update as to where things are going. Um, so yeah, thanks.